Hi, I'm Anna Catherine. Hi, I'm Audie Fletcher. And this is Franklin, Franklin and Five. Five. Woo! Save the date for the FHS dance team tryouts. The mission of the FHS dance team is to demonstrate the athleticism that the art of dance has to offer in an entertaining and unique performance experience. Support your school alongside dancers from a variety of studios in our community. Prior studio dance experience and higher level of commitment is required. Important dates to make note. There will be optional open studio dates on March 4th and 25th from 3.30 to 5 p.m. There is a mandatory parent and dancer meeting on March 25th beginning at 5.30 p.m. This meeting is for returning and new potential families. And tryouts will be on April 22nd from 4 to 6. Questions? Contact Crystal Schaefer for more information and tryout packet at this email. Congratulations to the FHS senior Charlie Connor for winning the 20. 22 Sarah Beard American History Bowl. Charlie was the lone member of the FHS team and was coached by history teacher Mr. Sheets. Are you starting your college exploration? Have questions for colleges? Want to know more? We can help! On Monday, March 7th from 5 to 6 30, Franklin High School is hosting a college fair. We will have admission counselors from the states of Alabama, Illinois, Kentucky, Mississippi, Ohio, South Carolina, Tennessee, and more. Mark your calendar and come check them out. This is Jake Kerr. This is Al Cowan, and we're the Franklin Parking Police. Man, what is this? Man, what it is? Mmm. 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 What is this? <laughs> Coach Davis, you on the curve. Man, this ain't no parking spot. I'm not gonna say anything. Man, you just must not like parking straight. Like actually wants to go. Huh. Huh. The FHS Library is hosting a reading without walls challenge and an acre writing contest. That's two chances to have fun and win a prize. Stop by the library for details and to pick up a flyer. Have you had a Celsius today? Yes. No, sir. Yes. No. I have not. No. 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 I had a Mountain Dew kickstart, not a, not a Celsius. No. 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 I have not. Three. No. No. Yes. Is that it? No. No, I haven't. No, but I'm planning on having one. Yes. I have. I'm having one right now. No. Yes. No. Davis, did you do it? No, I've never had one. Save the day for prom. It will be on April 23rd at the Opryland Hotel from 7 to 11.30. Tickets will be on sale the week of April 11th to 22nd during the lunch period. The cost is $60 per person. The library makerspace will feature knitting and crocheting. All are welcome to come on Fridays during both lunch periods. Today for lunch, we will be having chicken nuggets, blazing chicken nuggets, homestyle roll, choice of potato, and green beans. Do you think Megamind was the true villain of Megamind? No! No. Thank you. Do you think Megamind was the true villain in Megamind? No! Okay, cool. <laughs> Which Disney princess do you relate to most and why? Oh no, we both have the, the white hair thing, but mine, mine's a, dis a thing. Hers is because she got hit by snow. You weren't hit by snow? No, this is an autoimmune disorder. Do you think Megamind was the true villain in Megamind? Yes. Why? Because he was. Okay. Which Disney princess do you relate to most and why? Snow White, because I talk to animals. That's good. What Disney princess do you relate to most and why? I'd say I relate to um, Ariel from The Little Mermaid, um, Rapunzel from Tangled, mm -hmm. and then um, I love Tiana from Princess and the Frog, like just love her. Right. Yeah. Was Megamind the true villain of Megamind? Absolutely not. I think Megamind was a hero. He, if you 
if you at the end of the movie, he literally saves the whole town. Because, Spoiler alert. Oh, well, it's been out. <laughs> he saves the whole town, and he is literally, and they have a whole celebration for him. And Megamind is my favorite superhero, and because it's like, it's like um, bad to good. So it's like redemption, and I love a good redemption. I, I do too. I agree. Which Disney princess is your favorite? I like Cinderella because I like her glass slippers. Me too. And her 2015 butterfly dress. Which Disney princess do you have a crush on? Mulan. Why? She's hot. Okay. <laughs> Was Megamind the true villain of Megamind? Uh, I, I haven't seen Megamind. Uh. I like him though. Probably not. Probably okay. not. Okay. So. Was Megamind the true villain of the hit movie Megamind? No. I very much disagree with this. It was the guy who had like the white cape and he like lived in that little room underground. Titan. Him. <laughs> Megamind, he's amazing. I love Megamind. He's awesome. Wait, Titan or the dude who like was in the robe at the one point? Oh, the dude in the robe. Oh my god, the guy in the I robe? So. I think so. Wait. He, he was Metro Man. Was Metro Man the real villain? No. It was the guy that she was, the girl was friends with. The ginger. The ginger. The ginger. <laughs> and now for the ACT word of the day. What is the meaning of the word forte? An asset of special worth or utility. Examples of use. Cooking is his forte. Stop by and see the math tutor if you need help. Miss Arnett is available Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays during your study hall and both lunches. She or Mr. McCrillis will be available after school Monday through Thursday. Reminder, the FHS Writing Lab is available Tuesday through Thursdays, the first half of the six-period lunch. They can help with college applications slash scholarship essay advice and tips. Resumes, writing, tutoring, and assistance with the writing process and slash or revisions. I'm Anna Catherine. I'm Audie Fletcher. And thanks for watching Franklin and Five. Bye bye.